Right now I'm in the lift, about to go down for Makhrib. I think that Adan's going to be in about half an hour, 45 minutes, but I'm going to try and get to the masjid earlier. Salam. Allah forgive us all This is the only place we're all going This is the only place we're all ending up And we'll be lucky to die here Wallahi If your iman is high You should be making dua to die in this place And be buried here No matter what age Difference in my surroundings from day to day, from yesterday till today, subhanAllah. Same. Alhamdulillah. I'm sitting there in the masjid of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, from a Zamzam water. Chilling. I could chill here all afternoon, honestly. I'm a person that doesn't really like spending time by himself, but here, I don't even feel like I'm by myself. When you're so close to him, when you're footsteps away from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, I could sit here all afternoon, honestly. And I pray that every single person that's watching this gets the opportunity, inshallah, to come here and to feel this peace. I'll send your salams to him, inshallah. And uh, keep me in your prayers. Assalamualaikum. لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله I just clocked the moon's rising over there it's a full moon tonight as well Inshallah, that's gonna look amazing. For Maghrib, I'm always on the rooftop. No better place to be. Alhamdulillah. Please, someone deep that that's the moon. Yes. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Sorry, I'm just taking a video of this moon because it's. Imagine the greatest of creation, the greatest man to ever walk the face of this earth is buried right underneath that dome. And I just said salams to him. May Allah allow us, may Allah allow us to be more like him. And may Allah, us, may Allah allow us to, to, be, to be united with him, inshallah, in the highest rank of Jannah. Inshallah, inshallah. Hope all of you get to come here one day, inshallah, and see this and just, just be in this place. May Allah unite us, inshallah. له الذكرى يقول يا ليتني قدمت لحياتي فيومئذ لا يعذب عذابه أحد ولا يوثق وثاقه أحد يا أيتها النفس المطمئنة 
That's all he wanted. That is all he wanted. Allah has invited me back. I don't know why. I don't know what I did right, honestly. But Allah has invited me back to the holiest place in the world. Mecca. The place that no eye has ever seen. The place that no heart has ever perceived. I had a great feeling inside of me. This is one of the best things about the Fairmont Gold. So I've come out of my room, go through here, and these are private lifts that go straight down to the Haram. So they don't stop, they literally go straight down. So I can get down for Salah on time. You get me? Alhamdulillah. Fam, just so everyone knows, that walk that the Prophet used to do was no joke, fam. Climbing up to this cave all the time. Look at that altitude. <laughs> this ain't no game. SubhanAllah. We're still not even there yet. Not even there yet. SubhanAllah, sunrise is sensational. <laughs> MashaAllah. This is Imagine this, yeah? Let me just tell you a quick story. If you notice right now, I'm sweating. Sweating, proper sweating like a dog. Basically, I just lost my phone in Mecca. There's literally half a million people walking around here. And somehow, I managed to find, I managed to bump into the exact person that must have picked up my phone off the floor. As I'm running around looking for my phone, I've literally bumped into them. I've turned around and I've seen them holding my phone and I'm like, what? First of all, I was saying inna lillahi wa inna ilahi rajiun non-stop and I wouldn't usually do that but obviously because we just done an umrah, I, was, I remembered. So I've done that and second of all, little did I know at this point I had already lost my phone but when I was walking, 
thinking I still had my phone on me, I gave some charity to one of the cleaners. And I feel like Allah has only allowed me to find my phone because of these two things. I swear to God. Otherwise, it's literally impossible in this amount of people to find something new. I will tell you a piece of advice that I was told a couple of days ago by, by um, a brother who came to me. <clears throat> I, was, uh, I was sitting in a masjid and I think the brother could tell that I was feeling quite down. And he came over to me and he said, brother, I want to tell you about um, a dua. I can obviously see there's something wrong with you. And he said, I want to tell you about a dua that you should say when you're, when you're feeling alone, when you're feeling dark. And he said, the dua is la ilaha illa ant. Subhanaka inni kuntu min al A lot of people have said this to me before, you know, and, and some of you, may, a lot of us will probably know that is the dua that Yunus alayhi salam said in the, in the belly of the whale, when he was trapped in the belly of the whale. But when the brother explained it to me, I thought of it in a way that I had never been able to think of it before. There's a reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us this dua in this specific instance. Because a load of us, in fact, all of us in this room will go for a point in our lives where we feel in despair and we feel completely hopeless. We're in, a, we're in a period of our life where all we're feeling is darkness and we're feeling alone. Now, why did Allah tell us to say this specific dua in this instance? Because there is no place on earth that is more deep, more dark, more alone than in the belly of a whale at the bottom of the ocean. The bottom of the ocean, as a lot of you know, hasn't even been discovered to this day. So Allah is telling you that when you are feeling this alone and you are feeling that there's n there is no hope, there is nothing that can be done for you, say this dua and Allah will be there with you. And, and subhanAllah, when I deeped it like that, now whenever I'm feeling down, I know the first thing to say. So that would be my reminder for all the brothers, inshallah. Jazakallah khair for listening. Assalamu alaikum.